Yeah, we can see the chart because many people will be interested in that, I guess. Okay, so now here we have the, the chart of, um, we have the South Indian chart. I use a tropical rashes. So here we see he has a Cancer Ascendant. He has a Rahu in Leo in the second house. So, you know, one of his challenges in his life is to uh, embody this Leo energy, to realize this kingly and leadership kind of energy and um, embodying a singer who is like the king of a band I think it's very conducive to his north node purpose like he's learning how to become a leader kind of authority like a king like somebody famous and he's also working on his second house on his financial resources here in the second house the third cusp is also here so He's developing his courage, this Rami Malek. If we see here, he has the Sun, Mars in Taurus. So he's also very oriented towards the sensual pleasures, the material pleasures of life. Uh, it's a pretty hot combination, as we can see. I guess his fans are very devout and very uh, ardent because it's in the 11th from the Ascendant and the 11th from the Ascendant are also your fan club. <laughs> So I guess he has pretty hardcore fans. Uh, we see here he has Moon in Virgo. That is a combination for authorship. It's also a combination for healing. Jupiter and Saturn together. This is a kind of a difficult combination because these planets are a bit opposite. Saturn is constricting. It's retracting. It's a loner. And Jupiter is expansive, it's optimistic, so there is a battle, there is always a doubt in this person's mind. I noticed that in a lot of philosophical people's charts, uh, they have this Saturn-Jupiter combination because they, they tend to doubt the Jupiter, you know, like the Jupiter is starved, but Saturn is delighted, so kind of their long-term vision and their faith in life it's, is a bit undermined by the Saturn, but their discipline and their perseverance is delighted by this Jupiter. So it's an interesting combination to have. He has an exalted Saturn, so that's really good for finishing things, like taking things to an end. Or I guess he, he's not uh, the most optimistic person because Jupiter is starved by both Saturn and Venus here because it's in Libra. So he needs to spend more time with children and being charitable and all that to help his Jupiter. Uh, we also see here that he has the south node in Aquarius, so he comes from a past life of dealing with groups. And now he has to, like we said before, to be more assertive. See also this combination, which is very nice for an actor to have a very charming combination. Here in Gemini, they're both in good dignity. Uh, they help with communication, they help with his charisma and also with his luck because it's, you know, Vishnu and Lakshmi together. It's an auspicious combination and charming. And in the 12th house, I don't know, I didn't read if he's a spiritual person, but it would be conducive for his spirituality also. Here, let's see what else we have. Let's look at his cards. We'll look at everything. He's a seven of diamonds birth card. And if Freddie Mercury is born before sunrise, he's also a seven of diamonds birth card. So it's very interesting that he could be the same birth card as the person he's embodying in the movie. That's why people are very enthusiastic about his performance. We see here that, you know, the seven of diamonds, it's kind of difficult, a difficult card because this person tries a lot of things and a lot of like most of them don't work so he just keeps trying and trying and finally one of them works and then he becomes successful because the seven of diamonds can be the symbol of financial ruin but if the person is perseverant and is not victimizing themselves then they can become really successful they it's called the millionaire card for that reason so this person embodies this energy of just being perseverant because we also saw in his chart he has a really strong Saturn, delighted and in a good dignity. So he, instead of victimizing himself when something dies because the seven of diamonds is the death card, he just keeps going on and on and 
persevering and that is really helpful. So I guess that's why he's becoming more successful now in his late 30s. Uh, he was in the same school and with Kristen Dunst, who is one year younger than him and she is already way more successful just to make a comparison. So he kind of had to wait a bit for success for recognition to come but that's okay because he's a projector and it's all right for him to just wait for the invitation to wait for other people to call him and to respond to the invitation we also see that his life path is a two of diamonds that is uh, coming together with a concrete skill and uh, his moon card is a jack of hearts so uh, he always adapts to new situations, to new environments by uh, finding a new passion, something new to love. It's a really nice card to have in the moon card. I think, let's see. Yeah, it's also a person that does a lot of sacrificing because he has two kings here and kings always have to make sacrifices. They relate to Pluto. A lot of times in his life, he put a lot of expectation into financial prosperity and validation, and his expectations got purified. I mean, it was not put a lot of ego into it, and it got shattered because Pluto has the reputation to do that to a person. Yeah, and I see he's a pretty, I mean, he's a very emotional person. He has a lot of planets in the heart cards, but he's also kind of a loner person to himself because he has the, these nines. These are the hermit cards, the nine of uh, spades and the nine of clubs and these kings, which also embody the energy of the nine. So it's a person I think who's very focused on work on perfecting their skill because of this nine of clubs here and sacrificing a lot a lot for to get what they want like making a lot of sacrifices and i think he has a problematic relationship life because jupiter here in the two of hearts is like intimacy is kind of averted avoided like emotional bonding um, like being in a couple in the nice early phases when you're really in love and you have butterflies in your stomach, that's kind of obstructed for him in his chart. And uh, his kingdom is the five of spades. That's also a tough card because he also always has to improve himself. This is the card of a tough self-improvement when you're in a crisis with yourself and you don't know who you are, what your identity is. So he constantly needs to struggle to realize who he is. And also if we remember his human design chart, he had an open identity center. So he struggles a lot with that, like to, with knowing who he is, and especially because also Rafu is here in Leo, you know, so knowing who you are, what your territory is, what your kingdom is. What else do we see here? We see here the South Node is connected to this Four of Clubs and this King of Diamonds. So we know that in a past life, he was um, a very materially successful person. He had a very nice house, like very aesthetically pleasing things. Um, we also saw in the human design chart that he's very pretentious. He has like very specific aesthetic taste. And I think, yeah, this person was like a rich person who had a lot of nice things in their home in a past life. He was had a lot to do with um, groups, maybe secret societies with partnerships with other people, a lot of long distance travel because the seventh cusp is here and the ninth cusp is here a lot of uh, pilgrimages and now in this life he has to become more emotionally validated more emotionally satisfied because the north node card here is the six of hearts and uh, he has to to struggle to realize what his identity what his kingdom is he has to take responsibility for his environment because the second cusp is here he has to be brave, have courage because the third cusp is here and also be very technical with his skill. What else do we see here? We see that this year, um, the ecliptic card for him, so the path is a queen of clubs. 
So, and also the, um, the natural year spread, the natural year progression is also the queen of clubs. And this is a very important card. This can be related to Vishnu because in all the quadrations, this card goes into a different position every time. So it's like Vishnu that's only present. And this card relates to making the best decisions in a very consistent manner. So he made a good decision with his, uh, with his role. We also see that his uh, natal path is repeated this year in the Two of Diamonds. So uh, achieving this role, getting this role is part of his path of um, you know, coming together with his skill and uh, achieving some stability and some worldwide fame. We also see here a lot of spades, a lot of hard work. Here, there was a lot of feeling stuck. Probably maybe he had some health issues because the sixth cusp is here, but uh, luckily a lot of benefics are also here. So he got the, the care he needed. We see the Queen of Hearts is connected to this. So yeah, a lot of hard work for him this year. We'll also see that his, um, his kingdom card is repeated uh, in the Jupiter card, so he has a chance to work on establishing his kingdom. And uh, we see that he's going to have in January a nice four of clubs experience. He's going to feel uh, secure with his creativity, with his profession. He's going to feel pretty good about himself there. And here he's going to have a little crisis, um, maybe a lot of spending here with the nine of diamonds, maybe overspending. This, this card can indicate uh, great expenses, but it can also be a very charitable card. But because we see all these malefics here, I think it's uh, some uh, unplanned expenses that are gonna happen for him <laughs> between March and April next year. Yeah, this year definitely for him, I see some, um, some some issues with his health like he's feeling also he's reaching some limitations and um, i don't know if he has any drug or substance abuse problems but if he does between december and january is a good time to do like a detox or a rehab or something because the five of spades shows that <laughs> yeah fantastic fantastic it is nice <laughs> All right, so that is it. Human design and amazing <laughs> descriptions. And this is the first time I have seen and I was <laughs> I was having a time to understand what actually it is. So I was like, okay, let me listen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being so receptive and so open to this uh, new system. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you very much for coming and uh, we will get back together soon again. And whoever has not subscribed to our channel, you can please go and subscribe. And if you want a reading, you can also... Do you have a website, by the way? Uh, yes, I also have a website. It's called yourstarsalign.com. And my YouTube channel, just Google Carmina Anza and you'll find it. <laughs> all right. So I will give the, this, uh, the link of both of them in the description. All right. So thank you very much and see you some other time. Bye. Thank you, Babajit. Bye. Bye.